I just ran a mile. I went with Garrett and he's he's still going because he runs like crazy. But I'm so proud of myself. But my Fitbit app just absolutely roasted my ass. It said, you took a walk. <laughs> and I'm like, no, I ran with all my might. Or I jogged, I didn't run. But I did go for a run, a mile run. And my Fitbit said, cute little walk. <laughs> Okay, I have delayed it long enough. It is time to clean these rugs. I just ran the vacuum over this one in the living room because the one in the dining room is underneath the bookcase, so I'm gonna do that second. So basically my goal is to get these super clean, like run the carpet cleaner as many times as I need to, <clears throat> run it with a vacuum cleaner again, let them dry, roll them up take them to the storage unit what's up party people it's editing becky coming at you live from my husband's office and let me tell you this was a labor of love anytime i ever clean my rugs it is a labor of love because i have this little like carpet cleaner this handheld one and i do really like it especially since um, we live in an apartment we move clearly um so i don't really need a huge carpet cleaner and plus like storage is limited in apartments and you never know but what I will say is I would eventually like to get a larger one that makes it easier to clean carpets because I think I would use it more often if I had one that was a little bit more convenient to use I, I emptied this canister like I'm exaggerating but it was a lot I feel like at least 10 times per rug I'm sure that's not the truth I'm sure it was more like you know let's say a modest nine just kidding <laughs> probably like six or seven times if I'm being honest but I was proud of myself for this one a win is a win my friends we'll take it the lighting is so bad right now but hold on putting my shoes away that rug I put it it's hanging outside uh that took me a full hour to do from start to finish so I'm gonna eat some dinner I'm also gonna have a little wine so we're gonna have a little wine tasting I've had a wine tasting in a minute, pause for dog getting water. I'm gonna have a little wine. This is an Aldi wine. I've never had the Aldi Chardonnay before, um, but I packed up all of our wine glasses. But look at this coffee mug that I have. Breakfast wine, are you joking? That's so funny. So fun fact about me, a little Becky lore, if you will. I love red wine, that's my preferred type of wine. But in this, and I drink more in the winter than I do in the summer because I like white wines, but mostly only Chardonnay. And I like a bubbly wine too. Cheers. Totally fine. Not a lot of flavor. Very light flat. <laughs> Very like one note. That's my little wine review. It's okay. I, would I buy it again? Probably not, but it is good for like packing and convincing myself that um, I'm being productive. Hey friends, it's the next day and Got home from work a few hours ago and I have a goal to at least pop, pock. I keep saying pock. I did not sleep well last night. My brain is unwell. Um, my goal is to at least pack two boxes, one to two boxes tonight. Um, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to start that. I think I'm going to start in my bedroom, question mark. I'm not exactly like in the habit of wearing a ton of jewelry. Um, I may leave some out. Also, I haven't worn like a full face of makeup in so long. So, well, I did keep a lot of this stuff. I think I can get rid of like this whole drawer, except for the lip stuff and like the eyebrow stuff. But like I, okay, I would slash could uh, clean the other carpet today, but it took me a full hour last night to clean one carpet. And if I'm being like super real, I'm not really in the mood to do that right now. Brother, am I just getting rid of one bronzer? I kind of don't even want to get rid of it. Okay, you know what? I recently decluttered my makeup. I'm keeping all of it. Screw it. This was a fail, but I'm still going to keep All right, one thing I have found myself struggling with is just prioritizing stuff to go ahead and put in the storage unit while we continue to live here throughout June and then, you know, deciding what to put in the storage unit, what to keep out, figuring out what's going to like, what we're going to need, what we're not going to need, and not just like dumping everything into a box because I'm trying to be on top of it 
and by making our lives easier when we move out, but I'm also struggling to find the perfect balance. I've always moved piecemeal, but for whatever reason, this time I've been struggling with the correct balance. Not me waiting forever for the AC to turn off just to give up and eventually turn it off. So I thought we would change it up for today. I've been showing you guys packing and cleaning. Well, how about we do a Walmart haul and we make dinner together because that's just like riveting stuff right now going on in Becky's life. So let me show you everything we got at Walmart. Super random. All right, we got dog veggies. Boom. These are for Garrett at Little Impulse. This was on clearance, so I went ahead and grabbed one. And then, of course, you know, she has an addiction. I got cherry limeade, uh, dragon fruit, like the strawberry one, cherry twist, which is also cherry limeade, and then the dream float all delicious flavors i think my favorite of this one is everyone else's favorite too because it's always sold out at my walmart or the walmart we go to so this is like close it's very super similar so okay so i decided to do a voiceover because our ac kept kicking on and off and as you know our ac is really loud right now so i was like screw it i'm just going to do a voiceover later and post and let me tell you pepper steak is probably one of my favorite meals my mom ever made for us when i was a kid it was such a treat when she would make it because just like me now today, pepper steak is such my dog just got home. Uh, pe steak is such an expensive cut of meat. My husband just took them on a walk, so there's going to be lots of like panting and and water getting at this point. But anyways, let me know if you try this recipe. Super good. I will do my best to remember to link it. This is my promise to you. Okay, goodbye. I probably decided to voice over that whole cooking thing because the AC was going on and off, and I got tired of like trying to wait for it. Also, it's June, so I'm trying not to live without my AC. But I probably mentioned this in the voiceover, but that is. This meal is probably one of my number one favorite meals. My mom used to make it. It was such a treat because we didn't always have steak. And that's still how I feel because we don't always have steak because it's an expensive cut of meat. And the only time we really have it is when my parents give us like meat because they buy cows and stuff, whatever. But it's so stinking good. It's so good. It took me less than 30 minutes to throw all that together. And we're about to eat. So. Try that recipe if you find like steak or whatever on sale. And I'm sure it's really good with chicken too. Okay, here it is in the pan. It is unbelievable how much I'm hyping this recipe. I mean, it's not unbelievable to me because I know how much it's, like how good it is, but. My friends, we meet again with the vacuum and the carpet cleaner. And let me tell you this rug, if you have the last one was bad, this rug is horrid. That's the first round on the vacuum cleaner, okay? This one is in our dining room. This is where the dog's bowls are. This is where Missy likes to hang out and she loses fur like nobody's business. That's vacuum number two. I didn't show you vacuum number three because I wanted this video to be like under 10 minutes or around 10 minutes. So I cut out some footage. But this vacuum took me so long. I did so many passes. Again, I cut out footage because I was like, this video is a crazy amount of time. But I will say I completed the task. And my goodness, it wasn't a task. And I already know I said I want a standing vacuum carpet cleaner, but I mean that. I really want a standing vacuum cleaner now. So anyways, I put it outside, but it was short-lived because shortly after I took this, uh, I started to storm. So uh, the drying process was quick. Bro, the biggest thunder I have ever heard. I mean, I've heard that loud thunder, but that's crazy how loud that thunder was. Like, I felt like it went through our fireplace. We have a fireplace that's so behind our TV because we never, we're not allowed to light it at this apartment complex. Anyways, I was going to tell you, I cleaned the second rug. It is sitting on our porch, which I'm probably going to have to bring in quickly because I think it's going to rain with that thunder. But I'm so proud of myself because I have been avoiding that task for so long. And I did it, so. I also washed my hair today, which is also a task I've been avoiding for a while. So that's two adult things I did, two. Also, I'm kind of feeling like this video is probably plenty long. So if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Clearly my whole life right now is cleaning and packing. So if you enjoy packing, moving, cleaning content, subscribe, but also please know, more than just moving content and cleaning content will come your way eventually. Also, my shirt is so wrinkly. Whatever, it doesn't matter. I was productive. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!